yeah, man, it's crazy. This it, it's such an emotional roller coaster uh, on this that 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 journey of the animosity album, and it was so cool to do two legs and to every night to see. I'll tell you what's so weird. I remember listening to Bims Colorado, and I looked down to the bus, and I was like, God dang, man, there's a lot of damn. Look at those shirts. That shirt was like it was. He bought that in like 1915. It says seven of us on it. <laughs> look at that dude. I'm like, look at this dude. And I was realizing, I'm like, these dudes hadn't been, or that, damn, that lady hadn't been, they hadn't seen us for 25 fucking years. Wow. That are, had, you know what I mean? That just mm-hmm. left and did whatever they did with their lives. And for whatever reason, this this animosity album was something that helped them get to whatever or this or remind it. And the, I got chill bumps, and I'm like, oh my God, this is what's happened. These people. So it's a very interesting evening to look out, even though, even now at the age, and I'll be 50 October 3rd, to look out and see a young man my age uh, and to see his son. And then now his son has a son. So that's really cool. But mm-hmm. then all of a sudden to see these cats that you had seen, and you know, now we're all gray and stuff, and this dude's like, still rock, you know, he's got one dread, and he's like, well, look, y'all, buddy. Oh my God, damn. You know what I mean? So it's, it's really, it's awesome. It's a, it's a beautiful thing to be a part of, man. I, I never would have thought that uh, uh, standing today that I would still be able to be, I don't even know if the word is relevant, but uh, to be, uh, still being able to do music. Yeah, definitely relevant. Right, well, thank you. No, I was just going to say, so you, you, you weren't writing on t- uh, the Tattoo the Earth or you, you had a set schedule for that? How'd that go? Well, you know, we're always saying that could have been some writing doing, you know, that was a lot of fuck. That was a lot of partying going on back then. Uh, but we could have been, now you know we could have been doing some writing, but it wouldn't have been as serious as it would have been when we stopped and got together as a band. That's when we do our best writing, and uh, definitely back then that was when we do our best writing. The animosity was uh, re- recorded in Orlando, Florida, I believe. So yeah, we were yeah we definitely stopped and took a break and then got into the writing machine. Well, you said like that album resonates with people. I think it definitely does. And I think for me personally, a big part of that is you, your vocals. Oh, well, you, thank you. Yeah. I mean, you obviously brought it on self-titled, you bring it on home, but I don't know if it's the songs or if it's the mix, but you, you're front and center. You're on, you're showcased on animosity. And, uh, I just think it puts it over the top. Like you were that dude before that album, but you were really that dude after that album. Oh, thank you. I think that, you know, I think about it now. There's a lot of good songs on there. There's a lot of meaningful songs. You know, I forget that Angel's Son mm-hmm. unfortunately, had to be written for that album. And, uh, you know, I think that there's some definitely some heavy hitters on there that people gravitate. Yeah, you know, yeah, I think about it. I was able to sing more, you know, when I went mad at the world. Or, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, so I was able to definitely, uh, I feel like Animosity was definitely that album where we were able to mature and not be afraid for the guys and the other bands and the people, oh, you guys aren't heavy anymore, you know, like, fuck yourself, man, you know what I'm saying? We're still heavy, you know, people start, you know, we change, we grow up, you know. Uh, I'm happy to be a daddy, I'm happy to be a married man, everything, I don't have to yell everything out, I love slow, I love sad, I love uh, I love melody, I love ballad, I love song. Hmm. Uh, so, you know, so that's what I think we were able to to to, to branch over into an animosity. That was, uh, the, I feel like, yeah, that was our crossover to not being afraid to fucking do what we do. I I think you nailed it on the head with with what you just said there is that album animosity really is a true masterpiece of music and what it takes to put out music in every possible way, instrumentally or lyrically. And we were showcase we were us three before we're just talking about the song in particular trust is like Mm. all encompassing. It's like a masterpiece song. And it's, you know, I think that's why those legions of fans are coming out of the woodwork for this tour because it's those songs hit home in a different level. You know, it's well, like that's one of my favorite songs too. Oh, yeah. I forgot mm-hmm. that was on the album. Wow. Right on. Very cool. Oh, so good. So good. I removed myself. I removed myself from it until I get back to it. I, that's what I try to do, you know, uh, completely disattach. And then I, I kept capture that moment again. It's a, it's a, it's a great feeling, you know? Mm. So when you're making, animosity i mean you've Mm -hmm. got like you said you had some of that kind of anger that you were getting out with home this has got that heaviness still but Mm -hmm. it's it's i think it's a little more approachable for some of your you know when you're getting played all across the country but it's still you kept your heaviness though which we love yes we kept the seven dust growl after home animosity was great we uh we were able, I felt like you said, yeah, we were able to open up and not be afraid and, uh, and, and, and touch. I feel like the, I felt like we were growing as artists. And so then why not let our music grow? And, you know, and so that's what we were able to do. And we had a, 
a great uh, a great venue to do it in, you know, the world. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> and, you know, a lot of times, too, man, I hate it the way the music industry goes. Uh, you might hear a band and they have a whole album of 10, 15, 12. Uh, you get paid for 10 songs and everybody knows that. Uh, if you don't, that's what happens. And uh, the rest of them, you know. The <laughs> so uh, you have this whole beautiful piece. That's, I, I see it as a collage and you have all this stuff on it. And, and, and everything is your baby. And then these people that are behind you only push one of those things or maybe two. And then you have this whole work of music that only the loyal people that understand and the, the deep down, hey, we ride or dies, if you want to call them that, know it. So for us to be able to have these opportunities for me to go out and, and to perform these albums in its entirety, and that's all you want to hear, that really lets me know as, as, a, as, a, as a writer and an artist that, that, that you know, that is something that, that, that's very meaningful, that some people get it, that uh, more than what I thought got it, get it, if that makes sense. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It resonated with people. Yeah. Absolutely. And like we as fans, we would take 20 year anniversaries of every seven dust album. So if you guys want to do that, mm-hmm. we're here for it. I write um, on, my next one. I'm trying to, we're trying to do, I want to do seasons, man. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. We love seasons. Oh, yep. it was, we love season, you know, and working with Butch Walker was an amazing venture, you know, working with him as a kid, we worked with Butch when he was, uh, the, the studio that he had his parents' house in the oh, barn. Wow. We did a, a EPK there, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> so we were called crawl space. So yeah, that it's a lot of memories uh, down the road. Yeah, I would love to do a lot of, yeah, it's time to start doing anniversary albums, you know, maybe not 86 legs of them tours, but <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> so like it must, this album must be special for you. Like how, what for you, like what is special about animosity? Just everything, you know, just uh, like I said, it was a, I feel like it was a milestone for us as a band to, we really, I felt like we really felt like we were a band then, you know, not just a group. I feel like a lot of people have groups. I felt like we, we had established ourselves as a band that we're going to stick together and we were in this to the end, you know, and uh, at that point. So uh, I don't know. I felt like it was just a, it was a big step. It was a, I never knew we would have a gold and platinum album from it and all that stuff, but I just knew that we were doing what we needed to do and we weren't, we weren't going home and we were on the damn road. So I knew something was happening. So, uh, that was a good thing at that time that, uh, you know, we didn't have kids and stuff at that point. So we were, it was really, you know, it was, it was about us and us trying to make it, make it so people w- wouldn't forget us. I hope that's what I was thinking. I was praying that, that it was making a difference. That's what I was hoping. 